Hi, this is Aaron for BandLab, and in this video we're going to see how you can use samples provided by BandLab's loop library in different ways. We're going to take one sample and use it as the basis of a hip-hop beat. A house beat. And a drum and bass beat. We're going to do all this in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open the projects yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. Let's start with the hip hop beat. To begin, I select the browse loops option and then select the loops tab in the loops library. I enter Rhodes in the text search field, which is an instrument that's common to hip hop, house, and drum and bass. I choose MT Neo Soul 1890 BPM F Sharp Major Rhodes because it sounds kind of jazzy and has some sustain chords, which means it's going to be easy to chop up for these three different styles. I drag the loop into the project, and as there's nothing else in the project, BandLab automatically sets the project's tempo to that of the sample, 90 BPM. This is an ideal hip-hop tempo, so next I'm going to add a hip-hop drum loop. I set the instruments filter to beats and the genres filter to hip-hop trap. SVB 100 Speedy Hats 1 bar is close to the desired tempo and has the feel I'm looking for, so I drop that into the project. BandLab will automatically time stretch this to the project tempo, and I use the loop handle to extend the loop for the four bars of the road sample. Next, I change the instrument filter to bass and go for the alley drop bass loop 2 bar 85 BPM. Rather than simply looping this up like the beat, I tried to make something that fits the groove a little better. I truncate the beat using the handle at the bottom right of the sample so that it plays just the first few notes, then duplicate this out onto the second and third bars. To duplicate a clip in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag the clip. I extend the third version of the clip so that it plays for the first part of bar 4 as well. I start a new project for the house beat. I go for the same Neo Soul Road sample, but this time after I drag it into the project, I set the project tempo to a relatively up-tempo 120 BPM. BandLab asks me if I want to stretch the audio clips in the project to the new tempo. I do, so I select Adjust. I want a simplified version of the chord progression to create a rolling house groove, so I truncate the loop to just the first two bars and duplicate it out. I want a house beat sample, so in the loop library I search for house beat in the text search field. Brick house beat fits the bill, so I drag this into the project. This fits well, so I just need a bass line. I search for house bass and opt for Chicago house bass 6. I just want to use the first bar of the sample, so again I truncate the loop and duplicate it out. Thank you. 
I want the Roads loop to filter in and out, so I duplicate everything out, then open the effects page on the Roads track and add a tone multi-filter effect. I open up the automation view and select the multi-filter frequency lane, then click and drag on the envelope to create a smooth upward and downward motion. For the drum and bass track, I once again drag the Neo Soul Roads loop into the project. I want this project to play at 174 BPM, but if we time stretch the loop from 90 BPM to 174 BPM, this is going to sound much too fast. Instead, I want to play it at half time, so I set the project tempo to 87 BPM instead, which is half of 174 BPM, and much closer to the sample's original tempo of 90 BPM. I then use the File Download Mix Down As option to export the time stretched audio. I start a new project and set this to 174 BPM. Then I drag the audio file I just created into the project. I just want to use some sustain chords from the sample, so I slice the clip after the first chord by placing the playhead halfway through the second bar, right clicking and selecting Slice. You can also press the S key to slice. I'd also like to use another chord from the sample, and what's more, I'd like this second chord to play reversed. I double click on the second audio clip to open the editor page, then click the reverse button to reverse the sample. I use the handles at the bottom of the clip to isolate the first chord, then I use the fade handles in the editor to smooth out the start and end of the sample to avoid unwanted clicks. I move this sample to the start of the third bar. I'd like some delay on the roads to fill out the gaps between the samples, so I add the delay filter echo effect and turn up the delay parameters to 330 milliseconds. Let's hear how this sounds with a beat. I add Cove DNB Kit 2 Full Dry from the Loop Library. This sounds cool, but I want the beats to be more prominent in the mix, so I turn the Rhodes track down to negative 3 dB. Now I want a bass line, and Cove DNB Wobble Sub fits perfectly. Remember, you can fork these projects and make your own versions of them using the links in the video description. Have fun!